are other parts of Foxhall that look a little bit desperate actually. If you look just up this way here, look at the side of that property there, look by this car park here. Oh, look at that, there's a broken window there. It's only the, uh, the lead in the window that's stopping people from getting in there. Look at that there, wow. This area here needs tens of millions spending on it just to make any kind of impression. Oh my goodness, look at this. When I first started doing proper videos of Blackpool, this building featured in that video and it does not look any different to what it did then. And that was three years ago. Wow. Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in Blackpool where the weather has gone a little bit to pot lately. It's looking a little bit grim here, up north. So I'm here in Blackpool and we're currently in the Foxhall area. Uh, this is Dale Street here. It's actually home of the £1 burger just down that way there, but it's closed at the moment. But there's Blackpool Tower there, and what I thought I'd do in this video is we'll take a little look around this area here. Not been round for a while and I'll end up on the promenade where it's a little bit on the breezy side. Yeah, it's the weather just seems to have gone to, to hell in a handbasket lately. We've had high winds. Yesterday it rained all day long. Not a nice day at all. But it seems to happen, doesn't it? The more you get into summer, the worse the weather gets in Blackpool. It feels a bit like illuminations weather at the moment, actually. But yeah, I uh, thought we'd have a little look around here. I'll tell you what, it's a bit of a maze around here, you know, folks. A real maze. The oldest part of Blackpool, of course. We're looking down Shannon Street. This is Shannon Street here. Massive terrace there. Good view of the tower from here. Corner shop on the corner. That road there is called Bickerstaff Street, named after the father of Blackpool Tower, you might say, yeah. You get a good view of the tower from here as well. Look at that there, look. It is an interesting area, Foxhall, very interesting, as you can see. Uh, lots of terraced houses, very close together. Like I say, this is where Blackpool kind of got started when the Tilsley built their uh, summer house. They're not too far away from here. This is a nice street, isn't it? This is York Street. They've got the Bunton up here, look. Quite presentable, isn't it? But there are other parts of Foxhall that look a little bit desperate, actually. If you look just up this way here, look at this. Look at the side of that property there, look, by this car park here. That doesn't look too good, does it? And that's, that's empty. It looks like it's been empty for a long time. Look at it. Wow, look at this place. Bit of a doer-upper, what do you think? All rooms en suite. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. I'd like to see inside that place. Uh, this must be the name of it here. Carlton, Carlton House. What a shame when you've got that. Oh, look at that, there's a broken window there. It's only the, uh, the, the lead in the window that's stopping people from getting in there. Look at that there, wow. Wowzers. That is pretty grim, but I'll tell you something though. If you think that's grim, look over the road. Oh my goodness, look at this. And you know something else as well, when I first started doing proper videos of Blackpool, this building featured in that video and it does not look any different to what it did then. And that was three years ago. Wow. Just look at this, the deprivation around here is pretty chronic Foxhall Market not sure if it's open it doesn't, doesn't look open actually so here's a little look down the Foxhall Road towards the Ardwick pub there I can see Chris's van outside that yellow van there I wonder if he's in the pub 
And there's the Foxhall Market. Shout out to Paul Miles, who I just met earlier, and his partner, yeah. And there you go, here's a look down. I keep forgetting the name of these streets, isn't York Street? That's looking down. So I started down there, Dale Street. So there's a few, few places around here that have been done up. I think you've got to be brave to take on somewhere like this, really, haven't you? That's where the one pound burger is, just down there, Chris's place. If you fancy a one pound burger, that's the place to go. But anyway, what I'm going to do is we'll take a little look. Is this a street or an alleyway? I think it's an actual street. You know, some of the streets around here, you wouldn't even think they were streets. They're like alleys. This is called Crag Street, although you can't tell because someone's spray painted over the, uh, the sign. But yeah, look at the side of this building here, look. It's actually not a bad building when you look at it overall. It's actually, it could be quite nice if it was done up, you know. But we're now right around the back, around the back of the bingo house. One win, any prize bingo. Check it out if you're coming to Blackpool. So we're going to head up to, uh, just like a little look this way, there's another car park, lots of car parks, lots of little car parks around where they probably had, they probably knocked down buildings and then they just decided to build car parks because maybe it wasn't suitable for, you know, the, the climate or whatever, it wasn't good for building properties. And the head to the promenade and we'll see what it's like on the promenade show, we'll see, see what, what life there is. Saturday, 1st of July. This is Chapel Street, looking towards the, uh, that's the car park and the magistrates court over there. And the police buildings. All of this is due for demolition, yeah. When is it going to happen? Well, it could take quite a while. I'll tell you what, this area here needs tens of millions spending on it just to make any kind of impression. Now, of course, behind me, the police station, magistrates' courts, all that has been wiped out for a £300 million state-of-the-art entertainment complex. But that's going to take years to build. Will that make a difference? And there's another thing that I featured in my first video three years ago. I looked at that over there and it hasn't changed because they're still actually using the magistrates' courts up there. They're still using them, so they can't knock them down until they get a new magistrates' courts, can they? Anyway. Let's head up this way, shall we? That's the Stanley Arms there. Tattoo artist, anyone for tattoos? Not for me, tattoos, I'm afraid. I just don't see the appeal of tattoos at all. But anyway, I tell you what, <coughs> it's starting to feel a bit breezy now. I tell you what, I think I'm going to have to hold on to my hat because the wind is coming right at us. I think we've got gusts of up to 35 miles an hour today. Wow. Scuba. Scuba. Subaru. Impreza. That's a classic, that is. Anyway, let's get through these crowds here. <laughs> For that batting down the hatches, look at this. Don't want to lose all your... I saw a ball flying down the road just before. There was a woman chasing after it to catch up. Catch up to it. Let's leg it over here, shall we? Oh. Outside the central pier. There's the central pier. We've made it to the... Oh. I'll tell you something. It's... Uh... It's a bit stormy. Look at the lollipops. Can you see those lollipops down there? I call them the lollipops. Let's look at the way they're blowing over. That wind is coming hard from the west, folks. Yeah. And like I say, it's gusting. Up to, up to 35 miles an hour. We've got the terrace bar over there. I hope you're not picking up that. <laughs> don't see too many people out there. <laughs> I don't see too many people outside the terrace bar at the moment. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. But it's looking a bit stormy in Blackpool, folks. Oh, look at that. The wild, wild sea, the Irish sea. Look at it. 
It is looking pretty rough out there. I wouldn't fancy sailing in this weather, but uh, there's quite a few people around on the promenade walking around. It is breezy Blackpool after all. And here's a look at those lollipops. They're a good indicator of which way the wind's blowing and how strong the wind is. I really like them, actually. They're one of my favourite uh, art installations, if you call it that, on the promenade. So there you go. This is how it's looking in Blackpool on the first day of July. I can't see too many people wanting to sit on a deck chair today. <laughs> well, let's have a look the other way, shall we? Oh, I'm having to hold on to my hat here. Look at that. I'll tell you what though, it's very refreshing though. It'll wash away all that sewage. There's a look towards the central pier. Who wants to go on the big wheel in this weather? So there you go, that was a little look around Blackpool on a not so bright but very breezy Saturday, 1st of July, yeah, and we took a little look around the Foxhall area as well. I'll have to do some more videos in that area because I've not been around some of those places for a while. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos, and I'll see you again on the next one.